is Rania and we have a new way of telling stories today. I am going to be telling the story to Rania since Rania does not know the story. Okay, so let's begin. Today we are going to be reading another story from the Holy Quran, Prophet Sali, Sali Al-Islam and the She Camel. Okay. The people of Samu were blessed with, the, with strength and intelligence. They made buildings out of mountains. Allah had blessed them with a lot of wealth. They were very harsh and cruel to the other people. They forgot blessings of Allah Almighty and they became idol worshippers. Allah sent Prophet Salih Islam to guide the people of Samu. Okay, look over here. As you can see over here, the people are worshipping the idol. So, Rania, any question? Do they bow down to the Um, I think, yeah, that's what they call it. Worship. Prophet Saleh mm-hmm. guided his people to the right path, but they did not believe him. The people of Timur did not change their evil ways of life. They asked Saleh to show them some miracle as a sign of his prophethood. At that moment, a pregnant she-camel appeared out of the mountains. Prophet Sallallahu said, This she-camel is a sign for oneness of Allah Almighty. Over here, look, the she, she's a she-camel and she's pregnant. She's coming out of the mountains. I have a question. Yes, How do we know that she's pregnant? Mm-hmm. This is written in the Holy Quran. That's why we know. Okay. Salih told his people, this she camel will drink water from the well. From now on, you will have to take turns. One day she will drink water and you can't you can go to the well. The next day, do not harm the she camel, otherwise you will be punished. So they said that, uh, Hazrat Salih said that the she camel will drink one day, you will drink the other day. And you cannot harm the she camel. Then the she camel gave birth to a lovely young she camel. Look, the baby she camel. Now she's not pregnant anymore. He produ- she produced a lot of milk. It could feed a thousand villages. They, the she camel produced so much milk, Rania, that they Thousand villagers could eat that, uh, drink that milk. Its milk was blessed and delicious. Look, this guy is taking it. Okay. Um, I have a question. Is this my question? Okay, I don't know. That's my, that's my question too. People of the moon were not impressed. They hated the she camel simply because they did not want to accept the Almighty. Because there were people like this back ago. The disbelievers of the tribe planned to kill the she camel. They planned to kill the she camel that killing no one believes other night. Which is very, very, very wrong. Swahil? Yeah? I don't think that that was a prophet because. kept waiting for the she camel to return after drinking water from the well. When she returned, one of the disbelievers killed her. Another non-believer killed the he camel. One of them killed the big camel. The other of them killed the small. Prophet Ben Salih went angry and informed them about the punishment of Allah. He said, Enjoy yourselves in her in your homes for three days. Then you will be punished for you have done an evil thing. So that maybe because they kill the camel, they get the punishment for that. Maybe it's maybe, maybe the camel comes back in this room. Maybe I don't know. Okay. When three days passed, a fearful thing happened. Black clouds gathered in the sky 
At midnight, strong thunderbolts struck and destroyed the tribe of Thamud. Thamud. No one was saved from those thunderbolts except Prophet Salih and the believers. That was the end of the tribe of Thamud. May Allah be merciful to us and forgive us, forgive our sins and wrong doings. Doings are Rana. So they, go, they, did, they killed the camel, they got the punishment for that. Fair and square. This is Yes, obviously it's real, on here. Uh, what kind of questions are you asking? This is real. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of today's stories. Always wash your hands, stay safe, and please... Never kill animals. Yeah, never kill animals. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was the fourth story. Fourth or fifth, fourth or fifth story. I hope you enjoyed all the stories. Bye-bye. Have a good time.